hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prepare my Thanksgiving turkey this year I decided to do jerk turkey because otherwise I only like the the dark meat of my turkey so I thought I'd make a change hopefully we like the taste better so for this jerk turkey I'm gonna be using Walker's Word um, jerk sauce and where I live I can only find the hot one so I'm using that hot one and for some spices I have some organic thyme and I cut up an onion so on my bowl here I mix um, about one cup or I start with half a cup but you know up to one cup of the jerk sauce it de depends on the size of your turkey I guess and then on here I also put two teaspoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of olive oil and I put about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg so I've already washed my turkey with some lime so I basically cut up the lime and just give it a nice rub in and out and rinse that out so I'm ready to season my turkey so pretty much you just take that marinade and rub it in and I didn't really any add any salt on here because there's a lot of salt in that um, jerk seasoning so you make sure you massage the bird really good get the wings that's my favorite part and I like to put some inside that pocket so the breast can get some also just stop it in there and rub it in like I said I've been eating the same kind of turkey for years it kind of gets old so I just wanted to start to try something new so as you can see my is not enough because I already ran out so I'll be taking a little more from here and just keep rubbing it in get under the wings and whatnot and I reserve the neck here because I like that part so just kind of rub it in like I said keep rubbing let me know what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving leave a comment below let me know what you cook because I know not everybody like turkey so let me know what you guys cook and pay hey, post a picture if you want to just go ahead and comment below and guys don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on my channel let me know what else you guys want me to cook for you guys as I said I'm Haitian so I can cook it up so here I'm taking my onions stuffing it inside the bird to give it some flavor Keep the inside a little moisture. Keep the moisture inside a little bit. And I'm taking my thyme, rinsing it off, and sticking some in there. Some good flavor. And I will be marinating this bird for, so today's Tuesday, so for two days. Hopefully that flavor and all that spice get in there and she will be ready to go so I will be cooking it based on the cooking direction there's a little package that came with it 
But depending on how much your bird weighs, you go by the instruction. And here's my little instruction card. So yeah, well I hope this helped you guys, show you guys how to season your bird and cook up a nice Thanksgiving meal. And you guys, turkey is not just for Thanksgiving. A lot of people are eating turkey for Christmas, so you can eat turkey anytime. Anytime is turkey time. All right, guys. Okay guys, so I have my oven preheated to 275 and I had my turkey, um, my turkey's been marinating in the fridge with the seasoning for two days. So now it's time to get this bird in the oven. So I have it covered up and I will be baking it for two and a half hours. So the first two and a half hours, I will bake it with the foil on. So it's in, and after two and a half hours, I'll take the foil off and increase the, increase the temperature to 375 and bake it for another two hours uncovered. It's been about two and a half hours that I had that turkey in there. Now it's time to check it out. See what happened. It definitely smells delicious. I wish they would have smell a vision so you guys could smell this goodness over here. But yeah, this is exactly how you want it to look like. And I turned up the volume to 350. So I'm gonna put it in there for another um at least hour and a half or two and once it's almost done I'll probably melt some butter and just put it over it so I can get that golden color but yeah so I'll put it back in there for another two hours because I need that turkey to be done and looking delicious okay so my turkey is pretty much done I still have half an hour on the time clock so I had it on for an hour and a half so now I need my gravy to be thickened a little bit so on this little sauce I just have one tablespoon of flour and um, one tablespoon of soy sauce and a pinch a pinch of um, white sugar and I have a couple squeeze of applesauce. I just want a thick gravy, so I'm just gonna put it around. Kinda mix it up so the gravy can be nice and thick. For, you can either put that gravy on top of your mashed potatoes or if you're making rice, it's great. We're having rice, so I'll put that gravy and just mix it around. This looks good guys. This is exactly what you're looking for. So I'll scoop some of this, put it on top. I, I thought I was gonna um, melt some butter and put it on top of it, but I guess I don't have to do that. So I'll just take some of that gravy since they have some of the natural fat from the turkey. So I'll put it in for another Mm, 10 minutes and then it should be done So okay guys, um, my turkey's done And that soup is just nice and thick just how we want it And that golden brown Yeah, you want that nice thick, I mean not too runny and not too thick, just perfect for a gravy. So yeah, so my turkey is done and now 
I'm going to take my foil and cover it back up. So my turkey can rest. And while the turkey is resting, I'll be making the rest of my um, Thanksgiving meal. So yeah, so you guys, this is how you do jerk turkey. Hope this video was helpful and let me know if you guys liked it. Um, if you did, please um, don't be shy to push the like button and please share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a good Thanksgiving.